Hi, Olaf here, and this is the first impressions video of the Orbea Rice M10. So, I came across this bike when I was uh, participating or visiting an enduro event. I've been looking for this Orbea Rice for a long time now, I really wanted to test this bike. So this is not really a bike review, it's uh, just the first impressions video. I got to borrow this bike for maybe an hour or so, so that's it. But what I wanted to see is how the motor performs, if that works uh, in a slalom hill like this place. And I also want to see how poppy it is, because I have one favorite bike and that's the Specialized Turbo Levo SL, which felt really really poppy. And this is probably the main contender to that bike. So I'm very curious to find out how this bike rides, so um, let's give it a go! Some fast specs. The Orbea Rise is a lightweight, low-powered e-mountain bike with a tweaked Shimano EP8 motor. Instead of 85 Nm of peak torque, this motor has been remapped to provide a more natural feel and produces 60 Nm of peak torque. The Orbea Rise sits somewhere in between trail and enduro, but I'm sure it can handle some rough terrain as well. My brother managed to steal a 2021 Merida E160 from the Merida tent, so we will use that bike as a reference bike. It's equipped with a standard EP8 motor, so that was handy. This is actually the very same bike I tested about a year ago when the EP8 motor was launched, and it seems to have aged well. Thank you once again Merida for letting us borrow the bike again. And also a big thanks to Racing Bike Sweden who really didn't have to lend me the Orbea, but did so anyway. Racing Bike Sweden is a race suspension tuning specialist for mountain bikers. Links below. Right, so I am on the Merida E160 now. And it's always great to do a back-to-back -back testing. And this Merida has got a standard EP8 motor. Uh, the full fat version. Compared to that uh, EP8 RS on the Orbea Rise. Uh, there is a significant difference been climbing up this uh, slalom hill significantly more powerful as expected I guess so this is boost mode if I go down to trail mode I think trail mode is something similar to the highest output mode as the Orbea Rise has yeah so I need to get back to that Orbea Rise now so I'm on the Orbea Rise now and uh, as I said before I think, oops, wrong gear. I think the trail mode on that EP8 is the same as boost mode on this EP8. If, you, if you're happy with trail mode, then why not? And there'll be a rise. And uh, the reason for why this is a low powered motor, of course, is uh, it's uh, lower battery size and lower weight overall. I don't remember what weight this was but I'll write it down here somewhere okay I'm trying to keep up with my brother there on the EP8 or the Merida 160 so I'm full power now I'm not too far behind it's definitely pulling away there very full spet there eller? oh and it's long after okay now it's getting really steep Let's see how this works. Let's see if we find some grip. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, wandering about a bit. But it is pretty steep. <laughs> Both bikes climb about the same, I guess. So it's not the motor that's holding me back. It's more the more my skills. Okay, we're turning around. <laughs> yeah, good grip. Nice suspension. Uh, feels nice overall. Definitely some pop here. That feels quick. <laughs> Woo! There's definitely some pop in this bike. So you can feel this a lighter bike. 
definitely more pumps here so if you want to get up to the top and feel rested this is probably the motor for you not even in the lowest gear yet i'm in second gear it still pulls like a train okay now it's in first gear it's getting steeper okay now i'm in the steep part and yeah of course this motor helps a lot to keep that momentum Whoop. oh but i stopped just about where i stopped with the obria rise so let's get down here again then and see the difference there it's a bit steep i don't think it shows on camera but i'm having trouble just getting on the bike yeah, it tracks very well this bike it's less drama but it's also less pop it's not as easy to change direction with this bike so it's not like one bike is better than the other it's just like two different types of bikes and i can feel that the suspension works so well at least on this short downhill run that will be a rise has got some more pop so you can pop off some rocks and uh, yeah some small bumps and that's really a fun feeling for me at least feels more agile in that way yeah so what's my verdict then well i think that uh, will be a rise is more poppy and uh, merida ewa 6 is more confident and uh, more calm on the trails and it's more a question of what type of bike you like Personally, I like the Obea Rise a bit more because I like uh, more agile bike, more playful bikes. Uh, that's my taste. But the Merida E160 is probably a nicer bike. It's a very nice build and it's got a more powerful motor. So if you want to climb uphill a lot, uh, it, that's probably the bike for you. Yeah, that's it. Short and sweet. Uh, first impressions video with the Obea Rise and uh, comparing that with the Merida E160. All right, see you in the next video.